spend some time here try to learn i mean this continent has a lot to teach us i'm learning a lot Hello guys welcome to asher and god making africa home again one family at a time i've missed you guys so sorry i haven't been on here been so so very busy but yeah kingsley has been doing a good job i hope you agree with me as well so it's good to be back again i'm going to talk you through my garden flowers oh my god they're so beautiful i can't wait to share with you what we're doing so far it's exciting why is it exciting for me because here in africa i can dream again i can create whatever thing i want to create you know limitless options limitless dreams just dream as much as you can you want to and make it happen that's the difference you can make it happen here and that's what we are doing and we're having so much fun okay today i am going to show you a little area in our house which we call um the green area that's the garden area where we want to hang out um obviously there's so much sun here sunlight here so you have to choose the times you want to hang out here it's not even nine o'clock yet and it's really really hot i've got to cover my face with this hat you can imagine right you know i had this arch thing going on um it's so lovely we wanted to create an entrance into the garden um I wanted to use roses, I'll show you. Yes, I wanted to use roses, but it was difficult to find those climbing roses and the type I wanted. So I settled for Alamanda. You can see it's, it's equally gorgeous, isn't it? So we've got the gardener to tie the Alamanda, you know, just close to the arch so that they can climb. So we have this one sticking out here. And according to him, he's going to leave them there until they grow tall enough for him to wrap it around the arch. You can see these ones are doing well so far, aren't they? Yeah, they, these, these flowers are so beautiful. <laughs> can you have a look? It, it, it's so beautiful. Look at the color. I'm flower crazy, okay? So I usually get excited when I see beautiful flowers, beautiful plants. Um, it's a gift, you know, a gift from nature. So we've, we've got to love them. <laughs> Now this is the peach one. These two plants were planted at the same time, but this happens to grow taller and, and faster. This one is just taking its time, but all the same, it's consistent in its growth and it's, it's beautiful, all the same. So it's taking its time to climb up the arch. Yeah. So this is going to be the entrance into the green garden. We decided to plant flowers that are close to, you know, calming plants, mostly green and scented plants here. This is a kind of um, jasmine, a species of jasmine. It smells really beautiful. This flower, um, I mean, this is the biggest flower can go anyway. It can grow anyway. So um, the, the other day I plucked it and put it by, by my ear side. I mean, it was so beautiful. It, it has a very strong masculine scent. Well, I say masculine, I don't know, I know it's very strong, but it's so beautiful and um, you can't get enough of it. I had it on my head the whole day and in the evening, when you come out here in the evening, it smells so beautiful around here. I tell you, the, the, if you just pluck this, all right, and just squeeze it in between your fingers and just smell it. Mm. Uh, it's like... A little heaven and that was the plan you wanted to create a little heaven here you come out in the evening everywhere is smelling so beautiful all right so here are roses this is um um a pink rose baby pink rose honestly i don't really know much of the botanical names but that that is a pink rose here and um, this rose when it grows is so beautiful it just flowered you know i think two weeks ago it flowered and it's flowering again you can see see it's so beautiful when it grows so i'm it's not a climbing rose that's the thing but i'm hoping that the gardener will find a way to twist it around but this is a different different a different kind of rose as well um i think that's the the, the orange one i don't know 
but let's when it flowers i'll know what color it is now this is my favorite rose this is the burgundy rose this one when it grows the rose, the rose can be there for more than a week it is so beautiful you know and it's a climbing rose that's all it does is it climbs so hopefully this will climb all over the arch and i'll get exactly what i want it's just that like it doesn't grow that fast it takes its time to grow okay are you looking to build your dream home in ghana or are you building already would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports well if that's the case and that's you look no further asher and gag consultancy at your service we offer the following services electrical design construction monitoring inspections site progress reports consultation for all items mep witnessing of testing and commissioning periodic snagging vetting of specialist subcontractors report we also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much much more get in contact for your building needs details on the screen asher and gag consultancy make in Africa home again one family at a time right so here we decided to um, put this jasmine around the border if you know what I mean yeah around the border you can see so far it looks so flimsy it's growing if you remember if you, i don't know if, if we if we see the video of when we planted them they are so small but they're growing so tall now and that is very impressive the thing about this is that it looks a bit flimsy and you know wobbly but the gardener said he, he wouldn't do anything to it that was just to leave it but i think that you should stick it and make it stand but you know he says well i'm not an expert he says to leave it that way because he wants to trim it when it gets to the to the height that we want so because what we really want is that we want this place to be properly covered with this beautiful plant you know we want it to want it to get to this height maybe quite high so that when you're here you're completely cut off from you have a little privacy basically and you know if people won't see you and this is going to be the exit so you come in through that way that's the entrance that would be the entrance and this would be the exit at least when you're going out <laughs> you'll be able to smell the roses because they climb um, all over the arch in the near future i'm so looking forward to how beautiful this place is going to be yeah i'm looking forward to it so what we see here the the grass the green grass area um is looking lovely so far so we had a bit of concern um about this grass a few weeks ago so we had them we had the guy to put manure chicken manure all over this place and at the time it went brown so i thought that the grass was dead but under three days they came back green again so the gardener is saying that he will allow the wheat to come up leave it for a, for a week or two then he'll weed them then he'll mow them but there are parties here so when he okay not really parties they are the manure so when he comes i don't like this here I'll, I'll ask him what he's going to do about this 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 area yeah it has to be completely green this is my aloe i also have one in the pot in the house and um, so far so good it's doing so well just that it doesn't like a lot of water i mean how can you be in africa and you don't have an aloe plant aloe is you know medicine for basically everything they say i love them this is doing so well um he's a kind of lily the, the flowers are so beautiful um i'll walk you through i'll show you the, the other grown one so yeah this is so beautiful it's doing so well the grass is doing so well i'm so happy and um, this is the snake plant it's doing well i didn't know they had this around it it's beautiful so beautiful yeah as you can see it's doing very very well so this is the lily it's got the the flower is so beautiful there as you can see it's so amazing so so amazing i love this type of lily 
Yeah. This is the Queen of Philippines. So beautiful. It is going to grow taller than this, quite taller. Yeah, you can see how beautiful these things look. They are really growing, growing. This is so fantastic. See, have a look. Wow, it's growing. It's growing. It's beautiful. This is my project, our project. Okay, for me, this is just my little baby. I mean, to be able to watch this thing grow, it's so amazing. From the time we planted them in the soil. You know, from choosing them, actually, yeah, going all around, went all around Ghana, Accra, looking for for for, for the um, plants I needed because they were you wouldn't think, I mean they were not everywhere. You have to find um, the particular place that you find them even cheaper and also healthier. You know, because you go to some places they'll cut some prices that will put you off. But we're able to go to some places. We took our time to find the right places we bought them we planted them and there they are doing so beautiful now i'm so happy because i remember each plant you know they were all sown in there with love <laughs> so amazing like i keep saying this is where you have limitless dreams and options um africa allows you to dream allows you to be who you want to be allows you to you know practice what you want to practice no it's not it, it, i mean it's not just about the dream it's about making the dream a reality and we have options here we have abilities we have things to make it a reality here in africa you know i mean in in england who am i to buy such big plots of land we couldn't afford it we wouldn't afford it even now we wouldn't afford it but here we can afford it by his grace and we're able to turn it into something we've loved a long time ago we've longed a long time ago to do and it's coming up so beautiful so i i've got the gardener to remove everything and then we're going to put white gravel here and we're going to separate all these things and they'll look so beautiful so this plant i'm going to have here when this purple plant i don't know the name i'll find it when this purple plant grows it's so beautiful i mean it literally flowers every day that's how beautiful it is so i'm gonna have it here grow up to you know a certain height to the window area and i have all these little, little ones here these ones don't grow so high but yeah it's good to have them here and it's done that already so we'll go and find the price the cost of white gravel and we'll cover it with white gravel i'm sure it's gonna look so beautiful so the over here we have the purple plants so we we'll put them here as you can see to form a kind of um, um, base for here i'm sure it will look so beautiful so these were transplanted yesterday and um so we're looking forward to see what will happen here okay and also we worked on here yesterday as well the same thing here the, like i said the reason why we have these things here these barriers here are because of the dogs and the puppies they can't take their eyes off of this place they have so much fun here and they end up destroying everything we've done so we had to barricade it okay this um lady is it lady of the philippines queen of the philippines or lady of the philippines we got it transplanted here yesterday it's got a shocker it was doing so well but it was it wouldn't be good in front so i said to put it here um close to the house it's not looking nice now because it was transplanted yesterday and um, hopefully it's going to survive the shock but it is indeed a very beautiful plant yeah so here we are Um, this plant, um, I've forgotten the name, I'm going to find it. This plant is a very popular plant in Ghana. The flowers are so beautiful. You can see. You've got to be careful when you're touching because it's got thorns all over it. Um, it's actually a climbing plant, but we can even actually do a bonsai out of it. 
and this is what we're trying to do um he's gonna trim this place off i'll see what he'll do with it anyway because i want it to be like a shrub not a shrub i don't want it to grow like this it's gonna come to a point that it look like a shade you know so he said he could do that with this so i'm watching i'm watching him yeah these things are growing so well i'm so happy this is a different species as well it's doing so it looks like popsicles it's doing so well as well this one doing so i love my pepper plants so this is where we buried all these ones here i wish i had someone to give them to this is actually a waste so we're going into the farm right now What we have here, we've labeled everything. What we have here is Ugo. If you're from, if you're if you're Igbo, you know what Ugo, Ugo is. It's a vegetable we can never ever do without. Um, it's all crowded here because it wasn't staked properly. Um, we paid someone to stake it, but they didn't do a good job, and I didn't know how to do it myself, to be quite frank. And um, this is the first time I'm planting ugu on my own, you know, watching it from, you know, from from planting to, to this stage. So I do not have a lot of experience on this, but everything is trial and error, you know. So I planted it and it's come to this and um, I can see that it's already beginning to give me some, some pods. some Because obviously you want to get the fruits out of it. I don't know if you can see this. The, yeah, if you can see this, that's how the ugu seed, the ugu seed will come out of that. Can you see? Yes. So it's doing well. That's the only one I can see so far. It should have a lot of them coming out, but it's not. A lot. Honestly, if I sold this in the market, I'd be making a lot of money. But I do not want to sell it. I want to eat it. <laughs> uh, I have family members coming to visit, so yeah, that will save me money. <laughs> this. You can you can cook it normally when i cut it we wash it you pluck it you wash it you cut it and um i cook it i just toss it um steam it just tossing you don't let it cook for a very long time otherwise you're going to drain the vitamins i'll tell you a little story about this ugu why it's so nutritious why we love it it's um it's a regular vegetable you can use it for a goosey you can use it just as by itself as a stew um, you put it in your rice you eat it with anything you can just eat it just on its own you know as your dinner you eat it with yam or just eat it like that with onions toss it it has a beautiful taste or you can even um, wash it you can blend it um, and drink the water out of it it's very nutritious okay my, I'll tell you this story my mom told us about this ugu, her experience with it that's why she doesn't joke with it Okay, so she was pregnant with my younger brother. She was also schooling at that time. So she didn't get enough food and um, she was looking very sick. She was actually ill. So she went home to my dad. So they took her to the hospital and the doctor said her blood was only 30%. I mean, for a person who is pregnant, uh, I think six months pregnant, her blood was just reading 30%. So according to her, she went to the farm because it, I mean, in every household, you have a little garden, and in that garden, you have to plant ugu. Okay, so she went to the farm. She plucked a lot of ugu. She bought a lot of um, tomatoes. She made her ugu. She said she even um, juiced them. You can juice it. She said she had it on, you know, regular basis. A little of the vitamins, but she spent her time eating this. So when she went back to the hospital, her blood was within seventy percent. I mean, within two weeks. I mean, that's amazing. So she made us understand how great this ugu, how nutritious this ugu is. So we don't play with it. We don't 
problem with it when I'm making a goosey, isn't it? When I'm making, I'm, I'm just I have my white rice balls. I got it. I can do stir fry with it as well with vegetables. I have stir fry rice or whatever. It is so I mean I can go on and on. It is so amazing. That's why I have two beds of it. So because it's crowded. We are going to get um, the gardener is going to come and find a way to separate them without breaking them because they are beginning to fruit already. And I prayed for that. I wanted the fruit so that I can have um, fruit for the next season. So I don't. I wouldn't have to buy. I will get fruit and plant for the next season. So this is onion. It's doing very well. So so very well. Amazing. onion is doing fantastic um we labeled everything um these are oranges oranges or lemon i think i can't remember one of them is orange the other one is lemon i brought them from the uk hopefully they will fruit unfortunately my um some of some plants i bought here didn't, didn't do very well Probably because I didn't look after them properly. I just planted them. I didn't get to do a nursery for them first. But now we've got an expert. He's um, just going to um, look after them properly. That's a papa growing in between the ugu. But this is going to be an ugu bed. But that's a papa growing there. So I'll ask my husband what he plans to do with this papa. Um, we'll have to remove it. We have to remove it, transplant it somewhere. Because these two beds are just going to be for the ugu alone this avocado grew on it so no one planted it but yeah we, we love it we're gonna leave it there the radish is doing well because we only transplanted it last week and it's doing well so far this is, um, this is amazing the ginger they let us know when the ginger is ready i've never planted a ginger before but obviously i know i can check online to know when it's ready but now we've got a gardener to help us as well so yeah i don't think it's ready yet but i planted this ginger with um one of my helpers and i'm so glad i mean when i'm when i harvest it i have the satisfaction in my heart that i actually put it in the soil and i was able to harvest it that's that's that, that's a good feeling altogether. yeah the good thing about here is that i can always come into this farm like if I need spices, I can always come in here and pluck one or two spices. I got pomegranate in there and I got um, a kind of scent leaf in there. Did, did you know that? I'll, sh I'll walk you around. I had my rocket, but I think I finished everything. Is that now? What plant is that? So um gotta be careful when but this is peanuts, it's doing very well. I'm so happy. We love peanuts a lot, bald ones. So this is my pomegranate. It's taking its time. I can't wait to see it fruit. I cannot wait to see it fruit. It's amazing. And then this is my nunum leaf, which is also a kind of scent leaf. Do you know I put this in my salad? You can use it in your quinoa salad. I made quinoa salad the other day. I plucked like six, seven leaves off and I put it in the salad. Mm. It was so tasty. You can put it in your quinoa salad or any salad at all. It tastes really nice. Really, really nice. Yes, I'm so glad that I'm living a dream whereby I can come into my garden when I'm cooking. I don't have to buy a store vegetables. You just come straight to the garden, take it fresh and cook it. You know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, health is wealth. You are what you eat. You know, we pay little attention to what we eat, but it's very, very important that we pay a lot of attention to what we eat. It's very important for us that we grow our own food. And I think if you're living in the diaspora, if, I mean, just come home, do something. You don't have to leave your job. You could just take you know a break just come home do something you know spend some time here try to learn i mean this continent has a lot to teach us i'm learning a lot you know yes and um there's some certain laws that we cannot break and there's certain things that are already in force 
things we have to learn from and then um, there has to be a continuity as well so some things we have to pass on to our children as well and some things we have to learn ourselves because we haven't had the opportunity to learn those things so for me this is a learning process and not education gain is a waste if you don't use it now it's going to come up in the future you can transfer it to somebody so far so good this is our journey and um we're loving it i have one of these days i'm going to make a video i'm going to show you how to um eat this ugu it's brilliant you can see this one is growing all the way to the fence don't know what to do with it but the gardener will come and help me out he promised to help me out with it amazing i just found something now which i'm going to share with you this i just realized that this lemon is growing it's fruiting have a look have a look this lemon is actually fruiting basically what it means is that i'll stop buying lemon <laughs> lemons in the market i'll be making use of these ones that's amazing like if you went to the market five of these would be like five cities i think it's one for one city and i'll save the money i mean i use it for something else isn't it <laughs> yeah this is also a same plant it bears fruits do you know what i've forgotten the name but as soon as i remember i'll let you know is it sharon oh, let me not guess I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna take you through my bitter leaf <laughs> it's amazing So this is our guava. Our guava is doing very well. So far, so good. It's one of my favorite fruits. If it's not even my favorite, one of my favorite fruits. So this is our um, bitter leaf. I've never seen bitter leaf grow this tall in my life before. It's like the bitter leaf they have here in Ghana is so exquisite. They are giant ones. Normally, the ones I've seen they grow like shrubs. They don't grow this long. Don't grow this tall. But here in Ghana, it's amazing. And the leaves are so broad. So, yeah, Ghana 10 over 10 is brilliant. So what I intended was to cut it off and then um, put some on the side so that they'll grow. I mean, that means I have to start cutting it. But I, where I come from, we don't cut the bitter leaves. They just grow as shrubs. But here it, it's, it's mighty tall. And um, I don't know what to do with it. I think what I can do it's just to I ask the gardener when he comes should we should we trim it or should we leave it as a shade for these things yeah? I'll ask him so we know what to do because it's just coming in here and it's beginning to encroach into this guava which is not really good I think it needs to be trimmed off indeed it needs to be trimmed off I don't eat a lot of it but bitter leaf is very good we use it in um, soups and stew. Um, you can make a good soup of it. You just have to wash it, wash, it, wash it. Obviously, when you wash it, it's not the bitterness is not going to go completely, but it's not going to be bitter, bitter. It's going to taste a, a little bit like aloe, aloe drink. Yeah, kind of um, bitter sweet, and you can use it as stew. Use it, yeah, eat it with rice or with um, pounded jam. I love it a lot. Um, I make it too. I make it but not all the time because it's not every time you want to eat something bitter but it's really really healthy i do i do make it i make it with cocoa yam as a thickener but i make it with achi as a thickener or flour as a thickener yeah you will love it it's brilliant do you know one of these days i'm gonna show you how i make these things so that you can make them as well and enjoy them okay I will show you so that you can enjoy yourself because it's pointless having all these vegetables we see them lie around and we don't know what to do with them I, i'm gonna show you I promise 
I'm going to show you, I promise. I want you to have the best of everything. Yeah. The best this life has got to offer us. So far, so good. I've had a quick tour around the flower garden and around the vegetable garden as well. And I am quite happy. I'm impressed with the job the gardener has done so far. I think he'll be coming back next week and um, we'll take it from there. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you for watching Asher and Guard. Thank you for all your likes and comments. Yes, and um, thank you for buying the books and I'm, I'm glad that they're helping you as well. So come back home and do something. The land is waiting for you. It's all yours, not anybody else's, okay? Thank you so much and I'll see you again. Um, Kermesia from me and um, Yamishirao. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Bye for now. God bless. <laughs>